Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. This is week 50 of creating a positivity deck and the prompt for this week is nature. So nature has been a recurring theme for me throughout the creation of this positivity deck and it's featured a lot in terms of my written journaling and so there are links back to many of my cards and in a sense nature is also one of my many muses I would say. So I covered muse last week but this week I wanted to include nature as part of this wild state of being because there's something to me about nature being kind of source, the fundamental of everything and for me it was important to reflect that but to reflect it in this kind of wild state of being. So here I'm not thinking of the flowers and the manicured gardens, you know, so I'm thinking beyond my garden gate, not that my garden is manicured in any way and there is a certain wildness to it. But you know, when I was thinking here of nature and wild, I was thinking of mountains and sea, of dense forest, jungle even. And when I sat down to do my card, usually I will put a cover on it. By that I mean a kind of substrate, you know, so a piece of drop paper or whatever. But this time I decided to work directly onto the card. Now the card had had a light sanding and hopefully, you know, that meant that the paints would stick to it better. So I had just pulled out a few of my favourite colours and just started applying them using my fingers. I'm not drying at this stage in between, I'm just putting colour on top of colour. Now I've had people comment on some of my videos in the past when they've seen me use colours in this sort of fashion to say, you know, if I kind of paint like this I'm going to create mud. Well, that kind of doesn't bother me. You know, if, if I end up with a colour on there that I don't like, if I do make mud and I don't want mud, then I would just go over it again. I would just dry it off and go over it again. But for me, part of this, part of this whole process is about just working intuitively and seeing what comes. And I was very much into this card. You'll see that this video is the best part of 45 minutes long. So I spent a lot of time on this card and in some instances it was on some of the, the finer details but I was really into creating it. I was kind of at one making this card and that's exactly what I've wanted through creating this positivity deck. So you'll see I add colour on top of colour and basically I'm just trying to get most of that base card covered at this stage. Now I will go on to dry it, I think I dry it at this point before I then add some more colour to it. But here I am again with this lime yellow and I start to put some of this on. Now it was interesting because this was a different make of paint and it was almost sliding off the underneath coat. You see how it spreads out there. But for me, that's part of the kind of joy of experimenting with mixed media. It's part of this intuitive process too. I don't quite know how it's going to turn out and, and the fact that those paints are reacting together in a way that I didn't quite expect, that doesn't bother me. I just kind of go with it. And at different points here, I was kind of seeing different things. But you know, all I did was I got a bit more paint and just put it on a little bit more thickly. But I did like that kind of effect where when I was kind of pulling it out as well. But by using my fingers I was getting a bit of texture in this. And all the time I'm doing this I'm kind of looking at the card and seeing where it's taking me. And that again is part of this wild state of being. It's about not feeling that I have to do something in particular. 
It's about kind of going with it, seeing where it takes me, and not feeling hemmed in by following the colour wheel, for example. I just wanted to see where this card would take me, and it took me again somewhere that I just didn't expect. So, now taking some blue, and I guess here the blue for me was kind of representing the vastness of the sky, so to an extent I was trying to reflect some of the colours in nature, you know, the reds being, the reds and yellows being some of the kind of exotic plant life that we get, the greens being the trees and the grass and meadows and the blue for the sky. So again giving this a dry and it does very much from here go a bit differently than I kind of imagined it going. So I take this Black Pilot Perma Ball pen. Now this is quite a good pen, it can work on most surfaces, though again there's something about the combination of the paints here that it didn't work quite as well as usual. But you know, you just got to work with these things and just work through them. So as I'd been working on my card, the face of the Queen underneath kept attracting me and I felt that there was something there. I didn't want her to be exactly the same as she was, but I wanted to use a kind of shape there to help draw a person in. So you see the pen there is just struggling a little bit on top of the paints and in fact in some places I almost dig through the paint, but again that's fine. It was part of the interest and part of the challenge in doing this card. Although this is a positivity card, it doesn't mean to say it's necessarily easy to create. There's a challenge in there and, uh, you know, part of the challenge is allowing myself to bring out what I feel is there. But I certainly felt very strongly that this person had to come through. And perhaps this is connected to last week and the muse prompt. Perhaps this is my muse personified. Perhaps for me, this is nature personified. I don't know, but I just felt that this is what had to come from this card. So just trying to draw in the main features there. I do kind of struggle a bit later on with her face, not least because I kind of, if, if I was doing this card again, before I started to bring her out, I would have gone over it with, say, a clear gesso and it would have been easier to work on top of that, but I didn't and that's, that's absolutely fine. Again, that's part of the, the kind of joy of art and the joy of mixed media. It's just going with it and realising that there are better ways to do things. And there's also a challenge for me working this sort of size, you know, on this small scale. I, I find that sometimes when I see the card at the end, I see small, oh, for want of a better word, blemishes things that perhaps if I'd got my head down closer to it, I would have made a better job. But, you know, part of the thing about filming is I can't get my head down close to it. So there are little bits and pieces that I miss, little mistakes that I make. But, you know, at the end of the day, for me, that doesn't take away from my card. Uh, and again, this pen does just smudge a bit in places and it does on her face later but that's okay. So here I am, I'm just marking in some kind of leaves. As I say, for me this is a kind of wild side of nature and a lot of the reds that you see in the background now start to disappear behind greens and I try later to introduce a bit more blue but mixing it with the green to get a darker effect up the top.
all the time just building up the detail and these little elements in it. So, as I said, this is quite a long video, almost 45 minutes. I've kept it at normal speed because I know there's many of you like to see it kind of brush stroke by brush stroke. If, however, you feel that you want to see it going a bit quicker, then by all means use the feature to speed it up. And it probably does mean you need to mute the sound as well, though. But at double speed or faster, you'll certainly see, still see a lot of the, the detail that goes into it. So, I think for now I am going to put some music on because it's a long time for me to talk, although my voice is almost fully recovered now, thank goodness. And uh, yeah, I'll put some music to it and see you at the other side.
and so she's just about done. Just adding a couple of highlights just to bring her out that little bit more. So there she is, nature, the wild side of nature with her wild red hair. And I had used the side of my paintbrush to try and create the leaves at the top. And I put the kind of golden strands through her hair. I wanted her to very much blend into the background, you know, as, as she started to come to the fore in a sense. I wanted her to be a part of the background, but in a sense all to, also to stand out from it. So I worked on her for a while, but I'm pleased with the way that she turned out. So only two, two more weeks to go in the positivity deck and uh, yes, still find it hard to believe that we're at this stage of, of nearly having completed a year's worth of positivity cards but uh, looking forward to the next two without a doubt. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, whether you watched it at a faster speed or watched it through at this speed. And I hope you will join me again for next week's card. Meantime, bye for now.